Oh, hi there. So, recently I was trying to think of ways to get kids interested in electronics, and uh, most kids, depending on the age group, uh, are all playing Call of Duty. So I figured, why not make a rapid fire mod for Call of Duty? Um, I've got Black Ops here. I don't have the newest one. I'm not really in a gaming phase right now. Uh, anyway, I'm going to walk through the hardware, and then the software, and then we'll demo it. So, we have up here, this is the button input. Guide to its right is the trigger output. So, when you do a button with the Arduino, the uh, best way to do that is with a pull-up resistor. <clears throat> so, basically, we have three volts going to this resistor, which then gets spliced out to the button input, as well as... Uh, sorry, I'm covering up these wires. Over the white-orange cable, which goes up to the button, and then it comes back down the orange cable, which then goes to ground. So if we follow this logically, when the button is open, the electricity is going to go over here to the resistor, and then it's going to see, hey, i got nowhere to go out this way. Uh, it, maybe it would follow up here and then go back out that way. But it wouldn't come down here. It would see that it gets stuck. So electricity is going to take the path of least resistance and go to the input. Now the input has a pull-up resistor on it as well, so you have to imagine that there's a little bit of resistance there as well. So when the button is closed, the electricity goes pshoo over this resistor, and then it says, hey, I have a path to perfect ground over here. It comes up here, across that gap, over here, and to ground. No other resistors. So path of least resistance when the button is closed is over the button. When it's open, it's over to the input. So the button will read high when the button is bleh, the button input will read high when the button is open and low when it's closed. So here we go, yada yada yada, uh, trigger output. So let's follow our code over here. Da, da, da. All right. So we've got some variables up there, who cares? We've got some declarations right here, who cares, button in, everything else is out, whatever. So the basic logic of the code is that by default the trigger is going to be high and when the button is pressed it's going to go low for 50 milliseconds then back high for 35 and keep repeating that. The reason why it does high and low is because um, I found that the, the trigger is basically just a little pot so electricity uh, when the trigger is open is flowing perfectly and then when the trigger closes it's like a, a potentiometer um, the electricity gets restricted so low is trigger pressed high is trigger open um, that's about it and here's the demo so we got our button here, we got our thingy there, and go. It's pretty quick. Hooray! And that's that. Okay, bye.